everywhere. Well, Lana, as you know, uh, like, Donald yeah, Trump, subscribe. the former president, what's that? I said like, share, and subscribe. Yes, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, black and white with Brian Rundle and Lana Quest. We would appreciate if you did that. Um, but uh, today was day two of the trial of the former president, Donald Trump, uh, for basically giving campaign funds to a porn star to keep her quiet about a relationship they had to hide that. Of course, he definitely didn't want to get that out to the public, and he certainly didn't want to get it out to his wife, who was pregnant mm -hmm. with his uh, son now, who I believe is 18 years old, Baron. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But today, a uh, couple things happened. Uh, they had a hearing on um, on on all his tweets and and everything and and whether or not he um, he violated the gag order, um, and they had some back and forth about that. It, it, from what I read, Donald Trump's attorneys are as Donald Trump attorney-ish as you get. They're stupid. And even the judge had made a comment that they're making uh, something to the effect that he's making a fool out of himself or he's not credible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> based on his arguments back Jesus. about, you know, uh, about Donald Trump basically saying, violating the gag order. I mean, how hard is it to just keep your fucking mouth shut? But, well, you know, I guess for me, you, and most normal people, it is. And this time was tweets. Right. He's like, well, if I'm not going to say it, I'm just going to retweet or like quote tweet or well post or whatever the hell he was doing on True Social. Because a lot was about yep. that that uh, post that he reposted or something. Or yeah, it was about Jesse Waters. Yeah, uh, the guy. yeah that yeah. he was reposting about Jesse Waters, um, something to the effect about the jurors and. And, and stuff like that. But first of all, again, we, you talk about the, it, you just to blatantly look anybody, any yeah. American in the face and say, there's a two tier justice system and that it is unfair for Donald Trump is fucking ridiculous. Cause if this were any of us, any of us, this, this line that they keep MAGA using, included, even if it was the MAGA, y'all be in jail right no now. No question. I mean, they're saying, you know, if they can do this to me, they could do this to you. Like, f of course you fucking idiot. I mean, I would prefer it happen to Donald Trump because I know it could happen to me. Right. And you know, it could happen to you. Right. <laughs> Right. Unfucking real. But anyway, um, also the big news today was David Pecker was on the stand today. And David Pecker used to run. <laughs> I know. I, I, we Did got Beavis and Butthead here. Well, who was what Peckerwood? Was that like a swear? I just remember saying that as a kid. Oh, people would say that. That was like some sort of uh put down. Peckerwood is to call okay. somebody a Peckerwood. Like, sure. Because Pecker <laughs> I also, remember hearing that. You know, that. another innuendo for a penis, dick, you know, whatever okay. it is you want to say. It's always yeah. been so. But okay, anyway, Pecker. I don't know if anybody has said the name David Pecker even on serious news broadcasts without making some sort of joke. Yeah, but yeah he was um, oh. he was he used to run the New York Post, which is a garbage rag, basically National Enquirer type. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He ran the National Enquirer is what he ran. Right. Um, and uh, and so. He was on the stand today and basically what he did was he testified that um he would do these catch and kill type stories and basically what that means is, is he would find out stories that would hurt Donald Trump kind of pay people off and then um he would uh he would kill the story so it would not hurt him um there's also a few other things that he testified to um he testified basically that um, he would find stories or make up stories about his political opponents uh, like Hillary Clinton and mm -hmm. post those stories and protect him. And, you know, basically that's what he testified to today, which, you know, of course is damning. And, you know, this is the same. These are coming from the same people, too, who are bitching and complaining that uh, there was um, – there was a one day where they held up the Hunter Biden story on a social media site. And there's this big Twitter files. I wonder what the Twitter files people have to say about a guy who just got on the stand today and testified that he basically made up stories about his political opponent. And he 
caught and killed stories for Donald Trump to help him out. Right. Which is not a crime, right? So, no. right. So, MAGA people out there, because they're going to come to you, <laughs> YouTube, in the comments, like, yes, we get that that part yep. is not the crime, yep. but it does um, amount to kind of culpability. Like, it, 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 it amounts to like what they were trying to do, right? That's the background. So, we know that there must be a little truth in what was going on if they're out here catching stories and killing stories and Trump was very much involved in it. And I guess that's what their pecker is there for to trying to uh, connect the dots of, you know, what they were, what they were doing. And if Trump knew. Right. And by the way, let's keep in mind, this is a guy on the stand who was a Donald Trump associate. Again, these are not people oh, who Trump. are testifying oh. against him. There are like democratic operatives that just hate him and they want him out. These are people who worked with him, who were close to him, who voted for him, all these different things. And it just, you know, there's no getting through. I mean, I, I don't think anybody still is going to um, put two and two together on that one. That is a MAGA person and, and, and go along with that. But, um, but you know, certainly that's, that's important to note, but, um, old man Trump was uh, sitting in the courtroom today. And of course, after every um, <laughs> every time he leaves court, he has to hold this impromptu press conference outside. You know, just go back to the courtroom just first. And yeah. Like, yet, was it yesterday during their opening arguments, how Trump's attorney came out and said, Trump is a family man and sure. he's a loving husband and he was just trying to protect the honor of Melania Trump and protect his family. Lana, <laughs> do you want to continue with that? What was he protecting her from? Uh, right. The, the act that he did for finding out? or like, oh. Which, by the way, they're not denying. They didn't deny that he paid her. Yeah. We right. don't pay a porn star. And by the way, you know, I don't want this to get lost in the woods because too many people might be talking about, well, this is just salacious. So there's a porn star involved. And that's why people... Stormy Daniels, um, you know, involvement in this, it has nothing to do with the fact that she's a porn star. It just has something to do with the fact that there was paid hush money to somebody with campaign funds, which is illegal. And by the way, Michael right. Cohen already went to jail for this. Went so why would Donald jail. Trump not go to jail campaign for it? Campaign funds and then lied on business records, like stop playing, which is against the law. So and that's what kills me about people who are like, uh, this is, you know, this case is nothing. Why did he bring it? And it's like, because it was a crime. Like, right. When do we see a crime and then like, oh, that's too small. Let's just not deal with Like, when does that happen? Well, I'll tell you when that happens. It's Trump? when it's a very rich right. person and right. it's almost you give these people these passes. And I think part of that. I hope it's not, but I think part of that are delusional people who think at some point in their life they may be in that position. So they want, I don't know. I mean, it just, it, it, they, they, I don't know. And, and I think people obviously have a love affair with very rich people and, you know, millionaires and billionaires because that's the life everybody wants to lead. lead. So they have this love affair um, that it's almost like you just want to protect the idea of the rich right. person rather than, right. I, I guess. And that's my only, that's my only answer. What do you think? That they want to protect rich people. Like that's why, or is it, hmm. it's just weird with Trump, right? Like, is it just Trump or is it just rich people? Like, I, I don't really understand it around him like it's maybe it's people who want to see bigger cases come and like uh this is nothing or like i don't i don't get it either but yeah. i mean i know we're gonna listen to stephen a smith but like i don't get people like him saying the same thing like you know it's the dems trying to like harm him before an election and it's like 
hello did we forget when trump finally announced that he was running like these cases were always running around here. like these cases were there and then he turned around and said i'm going to i'm throwing my hat in like it took him a little while to do that right yeah yeah like yep. what are we talking about like we're acting like trump was out here campaigning and running and then everyone's like let me see if we can indict him now. Like that's not how any of this went. <laughs> well, you know, the the thing is, is that you're, first of all, we've already been programmed as a society with this whole new sort of media and MAGA media and just circus media <laughs> that, um, you know, we've been, we've been programmed just to buy into all this crap now. And, you know, it, it just, I don't know. I, 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 you know, what's really bothering me is I had a really good point and I can't remember what the <laughs> fuck it was. And that's why I'm trying to stall. Was it, was it about Trump? Yes. About but, the cases when the trial came. Uh, you ever have, I mean, we all do the, that where you the, have this great point and you're going somewhere with he's it. Running and, from and, justice. That's why he's running. He didn't he doesn't want to be president. He don't care about being the president. He's only doing that so he can possibly stay out of jail. Yeah. Um, while I'm trying to gather my thoughts, our friend Baby Juggernaut has uh, uh, gave us a comment here. Is that and she's right? Uh, how about the family support? Where's Trump's family? Where's Melania? Why? She's I mean, I think we we know why. People. That's what she said. She's uniting people. Is that what she's doing? That's what she said. She oh. said, you know, Trump is your uniter. That's okay. Like she's all on his team now. She's on team Trump Melania, but she won't show up in that courtroom. No, nope. baby juggernaut's right. Not one, not even a distant cousin, not even a play play cousin, not even like a cousin to the fourth degree. <laughs> It, it, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, none and of them. Junior's not one. there. Uh, uh, the one he's in love with, the daughter, uh, Ivanka. Oh, hell no. She's not going to be there. Not even Eric. And Eric wants him to love him. Not even the one that Tiffany, the one yeah. that nobody cares about. She's not. <laughs> Tiffany might have been on the fuck off train for a while. You know, I think she she's like forced to show up every once in a while. But I don't think even the other siblings really like her that much. But this is up here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so they don't talk about it's, her. Uh, it's a fucked up family, and you know the whole that whole dynamic is crazy. But, um, but I was saying, old man Trump today came out in one of his impromptu press conferences, and uh, he was, of course, you know, drunk. You would think, Sweating. uh, could be. <laughs> he does what he always does, which. Uh, you know, again, and this is something we're going to talk about a little bit later, but, you know, Trump is supposed to be the guy who, uh, you know, emits masculinity and manliness and all this stuff. But listen to this little bitch complaining <laughs> about how he had to spend his day. And the auto might be a little bad on this. I tried to find audio that was a little bit better, but I couldn't. So sitting here, uh, giving... Uh... Sitting up as straight as I can all day long because you know what? It's a very unfair situation. So <laughs> Yeah, very unfair situation. He tried to do all he could to just sit up all day. Um, but, uh, but he couldn't do that, but there was somebody that flew into his defense on this and, um, maybe we should listen to it and get an idea as to whether or not, uh, this gentleman is right. This gentleman's name is Jesse Waters. He is on the Fox news network and he had this to say about Donald Trump and him sitting in court all day. But the guy needs exercise. He's usually golfing. And so you're going to put a man who's almost 80 <laughs> sitting in a room like this on his butt for all that time. It's not healthy. You know how big of a health nut I am. He needs sunlight and he needs activity. He needs to be walking around. He needs action. It's really cruel and unusual puni punishment to make a man do that. And anytime he moves, they threaten to throw him in prison. First of all, he's defending a guy using the words cruel and unusual punishment that was basically found liable for rape. But um, he, he, <laughs> Lana, what do, you, what, do you, what do you make of that? Is Jesse Waters basically calling Donald Trump too old? Right? That's what it sounds like. Like he's too old to sit on his 
butt all day, but a lot of like really old people may sit on their butts. I don't know. I, I'm not near the age of Donald Trump, and I prefer to sit on my like, he, he needs exercise. He needs to golf. The thing where he gets in the, the golf cart and gets driven around to the next and he cheats that. He needs sun. He needs sunlight. Y'all made Hillary sit for 11 hours and she didn't complain that one bit. Straight she did it. No break, no nothing. And this man is whining because he can't get his Coca-Cola. I wish they would throw him in jail. He doesn't want to be in jail. People are like, oh, no, that's really what he wants. I'm like, no, the fuck he doesn't. He doesn't want to be in that jail cell. He doesn't Definitely wanna be, not. He doesn't want to be in that stinky, smelly court. He absolutely doesn't want to be in that jail cell without no. his phone for a night. Are you cr- hell, using the, the toilet? Yeah, okay. I think Donald Trump has been convinced that there is a 0% chance that the judge will throw Absolutely. him in jail for any reason whatsoever. Yeah. So he's going to keep pushing those right. boundaries and limits until somebody says, you know what? Fuck it. Throw this fucking asshole in jail, not for 24 hours, but for 48. Let's see how he does for two nights. And then the next time you warn him and say, next time it's going to be four nights. Then the next time it's going to be eight nights. And you just keep doing it. Yeah. And then maybe yeah. at some point he shuts the fuck up because at this point, who gives a fuck what MAGA thinks? They're going to, right. you know, sit there and do that. Well, they're silencing a political opponent. They said, no, they're not. But he was told by a judge, don't do this. He continued to disobey the orders. And you guys yeah. could sit there and defend him all you fucking want to. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. He got thrown in jail the same way you got would have got thrown in jail, the same way I would have got thrown in jail. And it would be nice if they did that. I mean, there's security in jail. We don't need his private security. There's... Right. There. That's what I was saying. That, yep. Yep. So but they won't. We, they will never. But then start finding him. Like, what's taking that so long? Just throw out some fines. You know, he did it. Yeah. You know he did it. You know, you're not going to throw him in jail. The only other thing left is how much you're going to find him. You know who he's reminding me a little bit of at this point, Lana? Did you see the movie uh, Training Day with Denzel Washington? Mm-hmm. Do you remember the end? where he was basically screaming at everybody. And then everybody basically at some point just was like, oh man, fuck this guy. And they all just started to walk away from him. Yeah, right. Because they're not afraid anymore. Like They're not afraid of him anymore. And they were just like, you know what? You are Denzel Washington in training day. You're heading to that point. (laughs) Because not even the, you know, he keeps tweeting out or truthing or whatever the fuck he calls it, um, you know, that you know, uh, show up to the courtroom and, you know, people are trying to protest and they want to protest and this, and nobody's even showing up. Nobody's showing up anymore. You know, it's hilarious, right? He came up and said thousands. They can't get through because New York is closed down with armed guards. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it is. He said that too before on another thing where he said, I can't remember what it was. It was some protest where he said uh, that every they were blocking the roads and there was over 20,000, 30,000 people that wanted to get through and they couldn't because they were blocking the roads. Of course, they show the roads and like, there's nobody here. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you're talking about. But an old lady walking back and forth. Yeah, right. Where's yeah. <laughs> Some guy on a scooter. Yeah. <laughs> little flag in the back. And that's- <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, and I was going to say too, Lana, we talked about Jesse, Jesse Waters and I want to play one more clip by him, but mm-hmm. this is the thing that I we're kind of shot with for the rest of our lives that we're not even acknowledging the fact that Jesse Waters is on a national news channel saying this. This is not some, you know, right. This is not some side panel on a goofy, you know, uh, uh, independent television channel. This is on a national news channel where somebody is on there, not even just making an opinion about that, but he's defending Donald Trump that he's got to sit in court all day because he needs exercise and he's an old man. This is this is outrageous. This is why I don't watch that. I can't. I just can't. And that's the crazy thing, because that's the. The gaslighting, right? It's yeah. like they're gaslighting people to believe like, woe is Trump mm-hmm. or Trump when it's like, but 
if you commit a crime and they schedule your trial during these dates, you don't get to pick and choose how y'all want the trial to go. Like that's no. not, you have rights to defend yourself in there's certain things, but you don't get to pick dates and when you're going to show up, I may be late. I'll come in at 12. Like, yeah. what the, don't take, don't do a crime. Stop criming. You wouldn't have this problem if you weren't criming. Like what is wrong with people? It's so imagine Barack Obama. Like what the hell talking about? Lana, a Barack Obama's is, never committed a crime, but they think that he should be locked up and thrown in prison. For so for, for they don't even know why. They're just told that this is that Barack Obama needs to be in prison. But again, this is it, it's propaganda. It's it's a flat out propaganda network. And propaganda, right. I mean, in order to get propaganda out, you just have to throw out like fucking leaflets and pamphlets and shit right. like that to get propaganda out to people who will buy into anything. But this is propaganda on the most watched quote unquote news right. channel. And it's not just at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, or it's not during just the five. It's right. all fucking okay. day. All okay. day long. Yeah. You have 90% propaganda and 10% every once in a while somebody will go, holy shit, I can't fucking believe Fox News just said that. Ah, it's, it's wild. <laughs> somebody said today, they're like, what if Biden had uh, uh, the Washington Post doing catch release like Hunter Biden stories. Well, you know they already think that they do. They think yeah, they're just they Twitter they files it everywhere. Like the Hunter Biden story is everywhere. Yeah. So obviously he's not. He, he doesn't do it. He doesn't. It's like how are we even doing the comparison when it's like there is just zero comparison. Lana, too. The thing that drives me insane mm -hmm. is they keep saying. That this story was killed. It was killed for one day, one day on Twitter, one day on Twitter. <laughs> and it was during the Trump administration. It wasn't even during the Biden administration. So it's right. just so irritating right. that this is out there as if this is a, a major news story that we right. all should be concerned about. It's just so fucking crazy.